In the previous video, we saw an ARP request from PCA looking for the MAC address of PCC. In this video, we will see the ARP reply in response to that ARP request. PCC, when it received the ARP request, examined the target IPv4 address and compared it against its own IPv4 address and noticed that it was the intended target. So PCC will generate an ARP reply in response to that ARP request. The ARP reply includes its own IPv4 address and its own MAC address. It is sent to PCA. ARP replies are sent as a unicast, so the destination MAC address is that of PCA. PCA receives the ARP reply in response to its previous ARP request. It takes the information, the sender IPv4 address and the sender MAC address, and adds that information to its ARP cache. PCA can now take the packet, the original packet, destined for PCC, take that packet off hold, and has the information it needs to send that packet to PCC. So it takes the information from the ARP cache, the MAC address, and adds that to the Ethernet header as the destination MAC address. PCA can now forward this packet in the proper Ethernet frame onto PCC.